Hello, I'm John Proxy. Welcome to the proximity and welcome to my stream, which, I mean, there's nobody here. I'm, I'm, I'm by myself right now, but hypothetically speaking, somebody's watching right now, even though I know literally speaking, no one's watching right now. Anyway, I'm about to begin a 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim adventure. It's again by Atlas. By Seiko. I've heard, I heard good things. I've heard some mixed things, but I've mostly heard good things. I'm going to dive on straight in. This is sort of an experiment. Uh, I've been mostly on the YouTubes, and this this is going to go on the YouTubes, but it kind of changes how I record. I'm going to try and keep a Twitch schedule. And this, I've decided to begin with the beginning of a game rather than one halfway through. Uh, I should just dive on in, right? I should just dive on in. Uh, no time like the present. Now, I don't know if my face is in the correct place. We'll find this out. I'm going to play on English because otherwise I'll have to read everything out. And we want to try and limit that as much as possible. I'm just looking at my voice. I'm looking at the Algeto uh, volume. Uh, and I believe we're live. I believe we're live. This is all an experiment. We'll see what happens. Let's play in English. I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Understood? Hey, I'm not talking a lot, but I'm, I'm sort of letting, uh, letting the introduction speak for itself. But I must say, I really like uh, the sort of there's this sort of drawn style to it, it's really but they've happening. applied it. They've applied it to the 3D, and I think Just that looks really said, good. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Okay then. Yeah, I'm playing this on, uh, I was going to say a big screen. Everyone's got a big screen nowadays. But uh, uh, playtime in the autosave slot is longer than the playtime in the current. I do want to autosave, but that's a really nice feature. So I did, I jumped into the game briefly to test it out to see if it worked. Uh, and that's a really nice feature for the game to go, hey, you're just going to wipe over an autosave. So it does have. So. Some problematic elements. It's like hearing myself talking in my head. This, I don't know if this story had to be told of school girls. Why it's school children, right? There's thirteen of them. Um. But. Japan is gonna Japan apparently. How do I move this thing? kun can you hear me? Kojo Senpai, what are you? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Yeah, God, what? Are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by deep forces. I came here to fight. But I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Yeah, there's literally no reason why they had to be naked in their robots. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this? That's the link system of the nano machines inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the Sentinel's sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get. 
sir. I keep getting I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't see. Hello. Sorry, I didn't see those uh, viewers. I'm going to make it so I can see them. <laughs> Sorry. I was watching the story. Right, uh, are you still here, Explody? Yes, I, I've got Odin's Spear, and I, because I've been looking forward to playing it, and then I just never played it. Um, ooh, I'm a little quiet. Okay, uh, I can, I can move this closer to myself, and I can turn the sound up on my, my snowball. Hopefully that's better. Uh, I c okay. So annoyingly enough, I do need to have this on. Right, so uh, I'm gonna do the continue with the tutorial. I wasn't expecting a viewer. This is the second time that's happened today. Well, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do a test, uh, and then suddenly I'm like, oh my goodness, to people talking to me! How how, how very dare they! I was <laughs> I was supposed to be t t twitching to nobody in particular. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. You don't have to stick around if this is a spoiler, uh, but it was it was 30 quid on PlayStation Store and the sale was about to end and I was like, oh, it's not going to be cheaper than that for like a year at the very least. So I figured I'd give it a go. Everyone says it's really good. Apart, uh, apart from the, 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 it's, it's a, yeah, apart from one element. Um, to control the pilot, move the cursor over the pilot and select with X. Once the menu is open, press X to select, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just got the software copy. Uh, to select action and destroy the enemy using armor-mounted machine cannons. Do a way of like... No, I guess if it bleep bloops, then it'd be really obnoxious. If I have, when I have hundreds of viewers, it'll be constantly bleeping. So I guess we don't want it bleeping. I'm just going to have to look at over there every so often. Which is something I should do anyway to make sure the stream's up and running. Once the menu's open, press the X to select the action and destroy the enemy using armor-mounted machine cannons. Right. Ooh, I just kicked the table. Uh, so I've got to select me. Well, I've got to select Fukusaka. Oh no! We do. It's, it's got to be done. The things have to happen. And we're going to be the people that make those things happen. Uh, action. Arm mounted rock machine cannons. Uh, it's a very pretty game. Um, and just. There we go. We'll shoot in that direction. Ooh, there's some workers. Some Dimos! Dimos! I shot them! They've been shot! The that was what I was umming and ahhing about. Isn't it? doesn't seem to be like a pause. Like, I know this is like half visual novel, but like, it's paced exactly what it wants to be paced at. I, 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 I don't know where my rocket launcher button is as well. It might be down the side of the sofa. Uh, so the gimmick is supposed to be... I don't think pause does skip, but I guess... Okay, I, none of the buttons... Oh, I can take a screenshot. None of the buttons do anything. I think I might be able to see what the pause does. When it's not in like a literal tutorial. Okay. Uh, oh, the attack range. So. But I need to see it in the conversation, don't I? Uh, there's also a manual right here, which I think is really cool. Uh, I mean, it's going to be the literal manual, obviously. But, like, games don't have manuals nowadays, so. Kind of nice seeing it. Kind of nice seeing it. Uh, anyway, we'll go back. Uh, and uh, use our rocket launchers, and we want to get all of them. A uh, very satisfying bloop 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 bloop. So um, this, I'm not getting 3D sound. This is a PlayStation 4 game though, so presumably it doesn't have 3D sound because there's no way I'm going to stream the analog sound because that'd be fucking awful. Uh, and uh, otherwise, I'd have to stream from the PlayStation. So the way I'm streaming. Ooh. Uh, I'll look at your photo. Uh, the way I'm streaming is I'm... <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this is going to go on YouTube and one day someone's going to look at it and go, why did he laugh? And it's like, I, I can't tell you because it's too much contact. It's a cat picture with a hacker man on it. Uh, what, what, what was I talking about? Uh, I should probably shoot these people as well. Oh, yes. Um, so, yeah, I've got the optical coming out of the TV, which means the it's the television signal that can go to my recording device. Uh, so it's because it's a television signal, it's not 3D audio. Uh, but then again, you know, it's a PlayStation 4 game. Let's explode those people. So the one thing I'm doing with this Twitch thing is, even though I'm planning on putting it on, on the YouTube, I'm just going to keep playing. I'm not going to do what I normally do and just keep pausing, because of that hurt last time. Yeah, I love the drawn style. But hang on. Yeah, I don't know why. Apparently, Xbox does both at the same time. Oh no, I don't know. What... I have no context for this. I know the point of this game is that you don't have any context. Uh, in my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until yeah. call for backup, Izumi. I should probably should say what uh Is I'm talking to my brother by the way, the explodey, if anyone watches this back. Uh but uh he, he's a twitcher as well. He's got a he's got actual viewers. Um But uh he his streaming setup uh well I my flat I specifically picked for my PC in nonsense to fit all in it. Uh, I'm very lucky with what I've got uh, available to me. Like, I've got a tower of wires just so I can have this all work. Anyway, we're going to use some heavy knuckles uh, to attack the enemies in front of me while moving around. Um, which I... Hang on, I've got to select him. Got to think. Yeah, I love the drawing style of the robots. Uh, there's literally no reason they have to be naked in their mechs. Like, I know there's a literal reason in the story, but like... Obviously, that's nonsense. Uh, and the older I get, the weirder it is that I, I have to sit through games that have Japanese schoolgirls that are in states of undress for really weird reasons. Uh, and, and, well, I guess it's uh, boys and girls, but like, but still, still. Uh, I had a co-worker, and I'm like, oh no, I'm going to have to explain to my co-workers I'm playing weird Japanese games. Let's use my heavy knuckles. Tax the ground, cut do two times to the center of those giant fists. Uh, oh, that's cool. Because it's like a projection of where the robot would go. Hang on. I, I guess I only want the center. I don't want to accidentally attack my ally. I think... So it's like a strategic RPG, I guess, but the emphasis is on the very smooth, real sight lines, rather than what would normally be a bunch of squares. Obviously, the actual gimmick of this game is it's half visual novel, and it's this bizarre game that you have to piece together. Uh, it's what I, uh, uh, yes, photosynthesis. Uh, I think in this game, it gets really hot in the mechs, I think, is the excuse. And they couldn't possibly wear clothes. It's just too, it's just too hot in the mechs. There isn't such thing as a... I mean, we've invented walking mechs, but, like, not, I don't know, like a cool suit. I don't know, even just a... There's clearly space in the mech. Anyway, J J Juro Karabe's story is now available. So the gimmick of this game, as far as I understand it, is that... There's a time travel, so some of it happens like in the twenties or something, and the story is told non linear lin lin I I said that word non linear. Why can't I say that linear lin? Not in a straight line. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna press the options button. Save my game. Uh, I guess that I'm I'm actually there, but I don't know. I'll put it right underneath. Is it the protagonist? It is the protagonist selection. 
Cool. I've got no meta chips. Oh. No, no. What am I talking about? I've got 270. I'm full of... Absolutely stonking full of meta chips. Mystery points, however. Just none. none of, anyway, um... So, yeah. The first scene... If anyone jumping in, you've missed nothing. I don't know why there's two school children fighting a kaiju. But, uh, but, uh, I don't know who this character is. But let's find out, shall we? Mm -hmm. The story of Juro Kurabe. A few days ago in Sakura High School, Class 1B, in 1985. A classroom? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shibaku. Right. I'm just gonna take a sip of my cup of tea. It's too hot. It's too hot. I can sense it already using my John senses. Of being a John. Uh, I'm gonna use. Uh, ah! There we go. We can walk around. Hmm. That's K K Kyoto. It's cheaper. Look at the dockers. The lights are really good. Uh. Yeah, I feel like I'm just this 35-year-old inexplicably playing games about people being in school. Keeper Shiba's been... It's not... Kyuta Shiba's been added to the Thought Cloud. The Thought Cloud. Uh, sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Can I take a sip of drink? Lovely, lovely. I don't know if Explodey's still here, but I'm going to need to get um, uh, a Be Right Back sign. Uh... So I wasn't sure, like, I decided today I'm going to try Twitch out again. And then I think, I'm now thinking, I should, if I'm going to do Twitch, I should probably just go all in on it. Like, I don't know what all in looks like, but it probably looks like me getting a slightly better camera. Um, because it's, I didn't think the stream would look this good. I didn't, like, because I've not used OBS for my streaming before. I've always streamed directly from the PlayStation. I've never streamed things on PC before. And it seems to be working really well. I'll have to look, I'll have a look back at this stream. But, um... Yeah. It, it helps to have a couple of people around to say how the stream's looking there. Because uh, I'm not normally this red looking. Although that's yellow. I could actually change that to a white one. Uh, anyway. Specific. Press triangle to open the thought cloud. Select and contemplate keywords. I'm going to consider... Shiba. A bit of a class clown. But Tell him a me. Good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. And I guess what would that be? Terminator? Uh Robot Cop? I don't know if that's come out yet. 1985. Surely it's Alien. He's got all the really good ones, but um I talk to Shiba again. Why not? Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? The oh yeah, Japanese movies. <laughs> Gojira you and sure all that. Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Did the term Mecha exist in 1985? Thought Cloud. Videotape. When this option is available, a triangle will appear above their heads. Use the keyword video tip. Okay. Oh, video tape. Here you go. <laughs> Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams too. Yeah, definitely. I keep thinking of Kingdom Hearts. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Uh, so, uh, to explode it, you were saying about uh, keeping an eye out for good scenes. Uh, Demon Souls, I did a thing I've not done before, which is I 
literally paused the game and went, oh my god, this looks amazing, and took a screenshot of it, which I literally have never done for any other game. My face is currently on top of the writing, but I guess it's not on the dialogue. Uh, and if you want to know what scene I took a picture of, it was the start of the rolling skeleton area. Just with the, it just looks amazing. Like, uh, yeah, just on the PlayStation Five. Uh, I, 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 oh, I can run! Ha <laughs> ha! No, I'm running! I'm the king of running! Alright, uh, you with the other character in the cutscene at the beginning, so I should talk to you! She's asleep again. Uh, alright, let's see. Oh, he thinks it was all a movie? What? Or, or was that just a thing that happened in the movie? Uh, so I turned on, uh, in, in the Demon Souls, uh, for the, and in case anyone watches this and doesn't know, there were two modes. There's like a performance mode, and there's a uh, like an extra shiny mode, as as uh, Explody puts it. Uh, put like cool mode. I don't know what it's called. I turned it on. I couldn't tell the difference apart from my guy looked like he was moving in slow motion, and it looked fucking terrible. I was like, no, nah, I'm just keeping it on performance mode. It looks fine in performance mode. I ca I genuinely can't see the difference between. Like, the looks-wise, I'm sure it probably looks better in extra shiny mode, but, like, I couldn't really tell the difference. But, like, it was unplayable in that mode, because it was 30 frames per second. And when you jump immediately from 60 to 30, it's really noticeable. It's not like one of those things, like, my TV's, like, that, like, you can't, there isn't enough space. My TV's 42 inches, I think? Or 40 inches. I don't know. Reasonably big. I know, but there's bigger. There's bigger. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. But, um... Uh, what was I going to say? But you can get bigger, right? But, like, you don't really notice. Or when you go from H HD to 4K, how noticeable is that really? Probably quite. But, like, 30 frames a second to 60, I was one of those people that were like, ah, oh, I don't really notice. But, like, yeah, like, it's night and day. I, like, I'm playing... I'm playing Persona 4 as well for the PC, and I've got a mod that allows you to make it 60 frames per second. <laughs> you've got to, you've got to turn it off every time there's a cutscene because it crashes. But like again, it's really difficult to play without the 60 frames per second. It's just, I don't know. It just seems like everything's moving through water. It's really slow. So, uh, I, I did play around with the filter. I did genuinely take a few screenshots and Demon Souls with filters on. But like. I'm just like, more green, that looks good. More blue. Like, you know. Uh, but, um, yeah. I've kept a couple. But not... Hey, by the way. I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, that one video. The one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep. Gonna rent it? I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. <sighs> no. Oh, he's going to run that video. Wonder what he's up to. Yeah. Now let's talk to my classmates. God, it took you ages to think of that answer. Yuri. Well, there's... There's an odd number. With 13 characters. Hang on, let me, uh... What's the mystery files? Mystery files contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology. Oh, there's going to be so much reading in this. Uh, but I played through Disco Elysium before they added all the talking. So, this is fine. Uh, use mystery points. I don't have any mystery points. Where do I get them? I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> uh, use mystery points acquired in the destruction to gain access to sealed mystery files. As the story progresses, these files provide answers to mysteries related to the individuals and incidents that occur. You can unlock these answers by completing the protagonist's events, receiving them as battle rewards, by using the mystery points you obtain through fighting Kaiju. There's also this event archive. And there's all these characters that also have event... Oh my word. Uh... 
And if we look through the manual again, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. These are the least important characters because there's five of them and there's only four on these screens. Uh, clearly, these are the main characters, the two on the left. There are no main characters, John. Okay, I feel like I'm my face is in the wrong place. Like, there's nothing going on on the bottom left-hand corner. It's fine, it's fine. If I'm... I'm not going to move it just yet, but I will if it keeps covering up stuff. Something? Uh, not really. I was just eavesdropping. That's how children talk. As I was saying. Okay, there is a pause button here. And it's considered that one video. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Let's consider your evil. She becomes a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. Okay. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Tread carefully, for you tread in my dreams. That's not the quote. Yes, you do. Need to... Uh... I can't, <laughs> I can't ask you about Disco Elysium while I'm recording this. Because that would be really odd. Uh, it um, would be slightly off subject. Can I leave? I guess I'm waiting for... Why is that really quiet? I've actually turned down the sound to this game loads. Because the distance between me and the blue snowball is... Uh, Less than ideal. I could just raise it a bit. It's it's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out a solution. If I continue doing this, I'm going to have to do this entire game, obviously. Can I leave this room? Yes, I know. Class is already over. Um... Thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now. Not for that. I, I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? Robots. What kind of dream was it? Well, um. Dude. Oh. This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. I was in a conversation. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You Talking about dreams, buddy. Cozy. This is how people like spoke in the eighties. Mm -hmm. In oh, Japan. Yeah. Then what's the problem? <laughs> yeah, so this game is in Japanese as well, but I'm not reading all this Sorry, out. Also, well, the acting seems fine. Right. I shouldn't down a cup of tea like that. Why did you need to go? But the new one's not bad either. I what? can see the whole school yet. I know, I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. Everyone's training hard with their teams. Why? Stop You're talking to yourself. One enough, maybe I should join a club too. Okay, she don't want to talk. Let's consider that one video. That movie's a hidden sh it's tough. I've finished considering. Oh. <laughs> of course you can use your own um, images on other people's videos because you're con... I, I, I've never known what that would work like. But seriously, Amiguchi, we got to catch that guy in quick. You want to hang out again that badly? He's What's the dream? It's the DreamWorks eyebrow. You're just waiting for me to play him. What video games were available in 1985? He's never around unless you make plans. 
Okay. Oh, hang on. There's a red. Oh, there we go. Shoe. Amiguchi Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Amiguchi Kun's not the most res he's smart. On top of he's got that movie's a hit. It's why is there a red flashing thing in the top right hand corner? Where the heck did that guy run off to? We gotta find him quick. We you gotta and say goodbye to our gaming session today. Oh no, it is Shu because there's an. It's it's slightly green. Not the most he's smart. On top, he's got... Oh no, no! Oh sorry, I'm an idiot. There we go. I figured it out. You you brain cloud the subject of people. You know, Amiguchi Kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Fuck, there's a game in this. Uh... That's right. He was there to break too. I'm also hoping, if if this is good enough quality, I can, instead of recording these, I can just download them from Twitch, and I think they're considerably smaller files. Hey, what is it, Sawatari-san? Try and talk to you for ages, Moata Sawatari-san. So I will say this, the graphics looks great, but obviously the characters have this sort of weird cutout effect, which is sort of fine, you get used to it, especially when the shadows work really well. Uh, but like, ignoring the fact that my his foot's going through the table, I can just, just kind of move him slightly. But it, when they move their mouths, it's kind of, it feels like uh, old British, like, paper. You know how South Park's made out the original episode of South Park? And the style of South Park is the paper moving. It's kind of like that. It feels like that. Uh, but I'm trying to think of some boy and his dog and some toast, maybe. I don't know what it's called. Anyway. Oh, I won't find them. Stack of papers. Is this it? Yes, that's right. Please take care of it. But either, either is or it isn't. Stack of papers has been added to the thought cloud. Thought cloud. Oh, I, I want to be the guy who had to record stack of papers. And I, I want to think about. I can't consider the stack of papers. But it is a keyword, so let's talk to him about the stack of papers. Stack of papers. Sorry, I can't. These what? papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Oh, I see. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Right. We're going to successfully leave a classroom. Oh, right. We have. My bag. No, we haven't. Yeah, have we... Come back here just for that. You would, she especially if we get kidnapped and put into a robot. Bring it with me. Is... Additional controls. Hold R1 to fast forward text. And... But it will pause unread text. Why would I be reading text that I've already read? Like, this is always a feature in visual novels as well. I know there's time travel, like, it made sense in in Zero Escape. Because you literally had to play things you'd already played. But, like, in a game that isn't that, why would I ever need to read text I'd already read? Like, reviewing text, 
yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes you go, oh, what was that you said? Oh, I'll, I'll look through the log and review it. And there's a manual, yes. So yeah, oh yeah, this, you know, this. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Totally makes sense. But the game said I could skip dialogue I hadn't read. Which implies I'll be listening to conversations that I already had. Why? I don't understand why that... What? I guess I just have to play more than once? Let's go to the nurse's office. I do like the... Huh. Yeah, I think that looks good. I guess it, the getaway... So, um... I'm making a computer game. I will mention that from time to time. Uh, and I've got to keep an eye out for, like, UI choices, right? So this is... Very unintuitive. It's a bit like... Uh, and it's interesting... It's 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 layering a bunch of stuff, right? Like it's bloop blooping that dot and the white thing in the background. Makes it very clear which one I've got selected. Because it can't use black or white because both of that's how the writing's done. Uh, anyway. But it can only do that, I think, because this is a very high detail game. Excuse me. She's not here. I'm running around in the nurse's office. You can't stop me. Okay, um... Let's examine what this. I do with these papers? I don't know, just leave Can them? I just leave them here? Yes! I said yes! There's a, <gasps> a mystery! A picture on it. What is this? What is this? I hope this isn't Chris's blood. I'll just take a peek. Juro... Take a piece of bread. Me? It's one of the dead. Photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Yeah, th he's right. He does say Juro Kurabe right there as well. Mystery files. Save our game. Different slot. As two percent, I've I've done two percent of blue. Right. Uh. Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Ah, uh, he, he must be an army leader. General good health. Drugs, huh? Count me in! Oh, Karabekun. Arms folded underneath breasts. As one does. Stack of papers! That one video. What brings you here? Stack of papers! I think you forgot these. Oh my. Stack of papers! You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. Lady, what if you fall over? You have to put your hands out. Kid -kun. Thank it's you. not safe to walk around I like that. The help. Sheba -kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. If you fall while your hands are like that, you're going to bash your face on the ground. Terrifying. And obviously her view, her view of the ground's obstructed as well. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave that. One more thing. Oh, who, 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 you Columbo? How is your current condition? You, sorry, did you just check in to see what condition my condition was in? <gasps> I've lost the stack of papers. Stack of papers. Oh, hang on. I'm not allowed to consider. Why can't I consider my condition? Memory loss. Dizziness, headaches. Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? Then you That's shouldn't be approaching us. 
I'll give you some medicine just in case. Mm, no, thank you. No, you don't take preventive medicine for cold. You take it after you get a cold. If you'll excuse me. Sort of nurse are you? There's an illness going around, which can be spread by people being within close vicinity. Let me step closer to you. Explain it. Well, you're so it's probably. Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. I remember when video stores existed. Same day, heading home. Kiyako chose shopping district. I love that it has to specify the same day, because later on, obviously, can't guarantee that, can you? I run rings around you. Something wrong? Mm, we couldn't catch Amiguchi. Yeah. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. Yeah, but have you considered that one video? Yeah, I guess he has. It's true that one video was already rented out. <laughs> but we didn't come back empty handed. I know, I was there with you. Dimos versus Mecha Dimos. <gasps> it's a real masterpiece from 74. Oh, I don't have any information you tell me, wouldn't it? But Dimos is a thing that's come up in the game already. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Dimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Well, I have something new to consider. The mighty kaiju Dimos. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. So, I guess that's... I don't know what the original kaiju was. Like, I was going to say Godzilla. But obviously, I, that might not be true at all. Just because it's the famous one. There's probably a bunch of rubbish ones, right? Like, it's an entire genre, so... Like, what's the chances the one big one is the one that I, as an English person, know? I don't follow kaiju stuff. Anyway, stop talking to yourself. What? No, it's never stop. You're on Twitch. You're supposed to talk constantly. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. I don't think kids were asking for consoles in the 1980s. I think that was barely a thing... Ah, oh, when did when did this? Hang on, I could ask my phone. When did the SNES come out? Sorry, I don't know if SNES was released. I didn't say SNES. I said SNES. When did the Super Nintendo come out? Actually, when did the original come out? The Super Nintendo Entertainment System published the twenty third of nineteen ninety one. Well, that was a bit too much information. When did the original Nintendo console come out? Here's what I found from Britannica.com. Nintendo Entertainment. As was released as the Famicom in Japan on the 15th of July, 1983. Fair enough. 83. Blimey. Um, yeah, I guess. I feel like it was still only a rich kid's toy, but still. Let's continue, shall we? Like nowadays, mom, mom, get me a console, get me one of the Nintendos, you know, but I feel like in the 80s, that was more of a privileged thing. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was just particularly poor. I mean, I was, but. Me, you know division. I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Anyway, when I can't get my mech working. Can I consider that? I would have. We can consider that one video. It's Kaitaro. Uh, 
Sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but don't touch his forehead. There's a cold going around. There's a cold going around. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? Oh, this so the. Yes. So uh, we saw at the very start of the game the girl had to touch her thigh. Because what's going to happen is I've seen this. Uh, this happens in games. For all the girls, it's going to have to be in places that require revealing bits of themselves. And for all the boys, it won't be. It'll be like head, forehead. Uh, yes, they did that in Final Fantasy 13 as well. They all had crests. and But occasionally, they'd require lifting up bits of clothing. Like Japanese come up with like really kind of off-the-wall reasons to include fan service in the game. It's like... It's like... A, uh, it's like a what? <laughs> it's like weirdly skillful, like especially with mech. Like even the sort of weird nudity in the mech. I if you asked me, you're like John. Uh, we we've got this mech game. It's about people in mechs. Let's pretend they're not school children for the time being. It's still because they're anyway. Like John, you're in charge of. of we want a bit of fan service. Uh, rake in a few extra coins from a customer base uh once uh, but but it's a mech how do you do that and i I wouldn't in a million years go oh but they have to be naked in their mechs or uh the the one that i've seen before the one that amazed me when i saw it was like well we're gonna put a camera in the mech obviously you need to see their faces it's gonna be like below their bottom looking up uh which is i've seen in a few things i get a thing i just because i wouldn't have even considered a camera in the mech which because, like, uh, you see Iron Man, right? Like, where you just see his face. Uh, and they have to show his face because they want him to emote. You can't do Judge Dredd with Iron Man. Uh, because, you know, the whole point is Judge Dredd is... You, you don't want him to feel too human, right? In the same way that... Um, Kratos, in the newest uh, God of War, has human clothing on. But, but in the original games, he's actually got less because it made him less human-feeling. Uh, uh, it's actually something it says on the extras and the same with a mask obviously you're taking away it's why you, whenever you have to fight enemies in the game if it's a generic army enemy it's a good idea to put masks on them because if you see their human faces you might consider that Cloud has murdered like thousands of people actual thousands of people most of which probably didn't really have much choice in being there uh, let's ignore the fact that like actual armies soldiers really aren't that innocent at all but like Whatever, like, in Final Fantasy VII, most of those soldiers were, you know. What's the point I'm making? Oh, it's, yes, he's got a start button. That's my point. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of went off on a tangent there. Sentinel number 13, transmitting. Don't tell me, are you... Wait, it looks different. That's the robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? That one movie. That thing back. I did that? All right. Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Oh, he knows things. He knows things. Interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Forgive me, Master. I have to go all out just this one time. Shibakun? <laughs> Yay! That was genuinely really cool. I am definitely in the wrong place, aren't I? Oh, but now there's stuff on the other side of the screen. Uh... So the the thing this game is supposed to be really cool at is that you're like piecing together all the puzzles and that they're like they're genuinely quite satisfying. So I did think it was 
the one guy I definitely didn't consider to be in a... Is he? Is he in the list of characters? I bet he is, I should have just noticed. Anyway, we've finished the prologue. We've got some mystery files and some event files. We've made 11% progress on this story, or is the entire game? 